Okay, that's the LCD soldered in and reconnected back to the circuit board. I haven't connected the backlights at the minute. Okay, so here we go. I don't know whether you can see that display there. I'm just going to, here we go, fingers crossed. Oh, you probably can't see that, but it says it's very dark though. Um, it's, yep, safety timer off. It's gone onto the nickel metal hydride manual program. So the LCD is working, but the backlight isn't. Okay, so turn the power off. The bike light require, requires a power supply of 5 volts and it pins 15 and 16 that require the power for the bike light. Now, I'm pretty sure pin 1 connects to pin 15 and pin 16 connects to pin 2 which is anode to athode, anode and cathode to cathode. I can't remember off the top of my head, unfortunately my laptop's in the other room so I'm just going to have a check on my other Broughtner because I know that the LCDs are the same. It's so much easier, especially when it's dark or even when it's bright sunlight, to read what the, the the charger is is doing. Um, I just wish I could disable the safety timer in this one. Okie dokie. Pin one goes to pin sixteen, and pin two goes to pin fifteen. There is another little mod I've done in here as well. I haven't done it on the Ultramat 25 because it's, it has it built in. Pin 3 has a wire which supplies 5 volts to the LCD display. That wire has a resistance which controls the contrast of the LCD. So I've soldered on there, that's a little 5k pot or potentiometer or variable resistor if you're old school like me. Basically what that allows me to do is it allows me to adjust the contrast. Very simple little mod, but straight the, the connection from pin 3, just put the, the wiper end of the pot onto it and put the other thing on and there you go, you can adjust your contrast all day long. So, getting back to this, so pin 1 goes to pin 16, so it's the two outermost pins together. And basically what you do now is you just jump a wire from those two points so I'm going to do that now and I shall be back in a few minutes